This 15-year-old girl, whose identity will not be revealed, traveled from Zimbabwe to Luengo with her father recently to attend a wedding. Her decision to leave the reception alone led her into the clutches of a group of men who defiled her. I reached in a dark place and I could not see well. Then I felt something being poured into my eyes. And someone placed a rope around my neck and pulled me. It was only after she regained consciousness the next day that she realized she had been defiled. The people who came to my aid took me to hospital. The doctors checked me and confirmed that I had been defiled. They gave me an injection and some pills to swallow. Another victim of this vicious act was abused by four men in the space of two days. The 15-year-old says her grandmother chased her out of the house when she returned late from church. The man asked me whether I had somewhere to stay for the night and I said no. He said, let us go to my house in Kawuku. When we got inside, he told me to take off my clothes and he also took off his. He put on a condom and defiled me. After he took advantage of her, the man took her to his friend who also defiled her. We went to the pastor's place and entered the house. There were two mattresses and he removed one. And then he placed it in another room and told me to lie down on it. He also brought a condom and defiled me. As she searched for somewhere to stay, two other men who offered her shelter did the same thing until the village defense secretary came to her aid. Luengo Resident District Commissioner Haman Sentongo has intervened. The laws will work. I am going to get involved in this matter personally everywhere in Luengo. He has warned local chairpersons facilitating this crime that they face prosecution. An LC1 on this case of defilement, which even involves loss of life, and an LC1 is simply interested in reconciling the parties involved, this is a criminal act. Police in the region have denied allegations that they have failed to follow up the cases. I believe as judiciary, they did their part, and for us police, we produce all the necessary evidence to adduce, be adduced before court. He also says that members of the community have a duty to keep their children safe.